All right, here I'm gonna go over how I vacuum seal dry foods in five gallon buckets with five gallon Mylar bags. Um, all this stuff, well, the Mylar bags you can get yourself on Amazon. The buckets you can get in Home Depot or Lowe's with the lids. Now this lid has a gasket and it seals nice with this pull tab that indicate if it's been opened or not. And uh, you can get, what else you need is oxygen absorbers. Now I have four here that are 500 cc because I like to use 2000 cc, which is a unit of measurement. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but that's what the cc stands for. And that's how much oxygen it pulls from the bag after I seal it. Which does really nice and, and sucks it and gives it airtight uh, vacuum and it works really really well so there's that you're gonna want to get those I would say you can buy those in packs too. use a 2,000 per, per five gallon bucket some people use 3,000 but I just use two it works well so that and you need an iron and you'll need a dowel rod I just improvised and made mine with like a uh, broomstick I kind of broke the handle and just use this because you're going to need to iron shut the seam of your uh, mylar bag here. And a food saver machine with the hose, you want the hose so that you can put that hose into the bag to suck the air out. Now this would typically have a food saver attachment for like uh, canning jars, but here it's just the clipped end of the hose so I can slip it right into, you'll see what I'm doing here. And, okay, now I'll just go ahead and pour the beans in here, get them ready. in there as you can. Good to be able to get it all since it was in a five. Pretty tight. Yeah, that should work. these oxygen absorbers open. There's a step where you want to do this next and you don't want to forget. When I first started with all this, I forgot a few times to add these in. And then you got to pop the bag back open, try to reuse it. It's not pretty. So there's four in there. That makes 2,000 cc's of absorption. Now, pack that down, get a look at it there. And this bag actually has a uh, like a Ziploc thing, but we're not using that. Most bags won't have that, and you'll just use the iron to get your seal. So here's where I put my rod up under the bag. Try to get that straight as nice and clean as look I can there. And then I'm going to take the iron we're gonna make that seal but what we're gonna do is at the corner here we're gonna leave just enough opening unsealed unpressed to slip that hose through so it's gonna be a tight little fit where that hose just sits in there to suck the remaining air out while you have the rest of this here sealed so that's that's the technique that you got to get good at and you will if you're going to do this because it's just like anything else it's like muscle memory so we create that seal feel hot give it a good rub I just turn my iron to the hottest setting 
You may need to adjust yours accordingly depending on how hot yours gets. This was like a $10 iron from Meyer. All right, I think that'll be good. And then I'll take a little blade or a knife and cut some of the access away here just to make it easier to get at my hole there to extract the air. And I'll move my machine over and I'll go in there and find my little spot there. Let me find my knife. in to wiggle around a little bit if you need to get yourself in there depending on how tight you made it this one's a little tighter than normal it's okay still flipping through now that I'm in I should be able to as you see there I'm in just the corner here and everything else is sealed so that I can pull the air just from uh, just from here. So we'll hit seal and watch as the bag starts to deflate and the air is removed. machine will probably shut off here because it's got a timer built in from what I understand and then I'll hit it again so you can see most of the oxygen is just out now I'll run it again and that'll get the rest of it and then I'll go ahead and pull it tight and block the air off as I pull this out with the rod underneath and the iron up on there to get that seal as I pull the hose. So you'll see that in a sec. So during this process while the machine is on, I slip, start to slip that hose and get that hose close. And I'll put this up underneath now the dollar rod and then I'll use my thumb to help pinch that air off so that we don't lose that vacuum. And I'll run my iron over and I will hit that as I'm pulling the hose out. So that way, we're now sealed. Get that rub on there. Get that, make sure it's sealed. It is it's good now. Now you can see the bag is airtight, and then those oxygen absorbers in there are going to go to work and they're going to pull anything else in there straight up out of there. And this bag is going to be good for quite a long time. I would say what 10 15 years maybe more who knows if stored under the right condition but that's that that's pretty much the video and then I'll go ahead and uh, label it I'll label it here with permanent marker and then I'll label it on the outside of the bucket 
and I'll go ahead and put this up in my storage. So, hope you guys got some good tips out of that and get to prepping. Um, so, until the next video, take care.